that April's over because honestly, the end of the school year is approaching and that's when everything starts being due and it's just a crazy, crazy time of year. So I'm really glad that April's over and May is actually when I get out for summer vacation and I'm just so excited about that. So, um, anyway, rambling on. Although I am very excited that April has finally come to an end, I did accumulate quite a bit of favorites throughout the month of April, so I'm excited to share them with you guys. So why don't we just get started? As usual, I'm going to start off with the beauty category of favorites, and I've just been loving the Such a Flirt Body Splash from Victoria's Secret. It just smells very, very good. Mm. It's a combination between fruity and floral kind of a smell, so it's perfect for springtime. It's star fruit and white orchid, so I have never smelled any of those two things. I just love the smell. It reminds me of springtime and summer also, and it's nice to switch over to a body splash uh, throughout the warmer months. It's just lighter and not so heavy and um, potent as perfume, so it's just nice to switch over to a body splash. I've just really been loving this, and it's definitely a favorite of the month. I've also been loving this lip gloss, and this is the Elizabeth Arden uh, Rose Gold Lip Gloss, and it's actually my mom's, and my sister stole it from her, and then I stole it from my sister. It's just the perfect uh, semi-nude shade with a little bit of shimmer in it, and it's just really, really nice. I love the consistency. I think that this um, color looks really good on my skin tone. I'm wearing it right now. The camera makes it look a little bit more natural than it is, but it's a really, really pretty color, and I've been loving this, so yeah, definitely had to include this in my favorites. I've also been loving the Maybelline New York Clean Express Makeup Remover, and this is just a really nice, gentle makeup remover, and it's especially good for your eye makeup, because sometimes a makeup wipe is not enough to get it all off without having to scrub your eyes really hard and I just hate that so much. I've really been loving this. It's very gentle. It doesn't sting your eyes at all and it gets all of your makeup off which is amazing. I always I always like my makeup remover to do its job. Um, but yeah, I just really love this. I don't know if you guys have noticed but I'm a little bit more tan. I have been very very pale lately so I decided to try out Jergens Natural Glow Face Daily Moisturizer Sunscreen and this is amazing. I've heard a lot of people rave about this product and I just look really really bad when I'm pale. I'm not a person that looks good when they're pale. I wear usually a lot of bronzer anyway but I needed something else because I was just becoming so pale. My skin was getting to the point that I looked ill. Like I looked like I had some sort of disease because I was so pale and um, I just think I look better with a tan honestly and so I've been trying this out and it's really natural and it's just really really good and I just I, I love it. I've also been loving the Avita Color Conserve Shampoo and Conditioner, and these are just really, really nice products. Um, I do dye my hair. I have just the ends. My natural color is from here, like here up. It's this kind of mouse color. I have a more natural take on the ombre, and so I needed to pick up a shampoo and conditioner that would conserve the color in my hair, and this definitely does that. It smells amazing. This is the shampoo and conditioner that they use on me when I go to get my hair done at the hair salon and so um, I picked these up and I'm in love with them. They smell delicious and um, they make my hair really soft, really clean, and they protect the color, which is everything that I'm looking for in a shampoo and conditioner. My last beauty favorite is this Batiste dry shampoo and this is in the um, floral and flirty blush scent. This is just the holy grail of hair products. I don't like to wash my hair every day because that's really bad for your hair and so in between washes this is just my savior because then I don't look disgusting and also makes my hair have a little bit more volume which I'm all for. I've tried other dry shampoos and they do not work as well as this. It does come out white in your hair but it blends so easily. You just rub it into your scalp and it doesn't stay white. So I really love this. It's just great in every single way and I'm just addicted to it now. I, I don't know what I would do without this dry shampoo, so thank you Batiste. Thanks for all that you do for my hair. Now on to fashion favorites. I've been loving this statement necklace. I got this at Forever 21 and it just screams spring to me. It goes with a lot of the stuff that I have in my closet and I just think that it's really really cute and I think I got it for like, like three dollars. It's super super cute and I just, I like it a lot. I think it really um, adds a little bit more, more to an outfit. I've just been loving this statement necklace recently. My mom actually ordered me these sunglasses and they're from Betsy Johnson. Haha, -ha, I don't know if there's like a glare on them. But I think these are really, really cute. I say that about everything. I say really, really cute about everything. But I think these are super cute and they're kind of sassy with that little cat eye effect. 
and they're a little bit oversized, which is cute. Yeah, I've just been loving these recently as the sun has finally come out. So yeah, these have definitely been a favorite of the month of April. For random favorites, I've been obsessed with this cup from Target that I got. It's a mason jar cup to drink water out of and it comes with a little straw and has the metal top like a real mason jar has and it's just adorable. I think it's so cute and it encourages me to drink more water. I'll fill this up and carry it around the house with me and try to drink more water because I'm trying to drink more water because I'm really, really bad at drinking water. I said water about a zillion times in that sentence, but you know, let's look past that. I just really, really love this. That's all I can say. It's it's a cup, but it's, it's adorable. For TV shows that I've been loving recently, I've been obsessed with New Girl this month. It is so amazing. Um, it's hilarious, I just love all the characters, and I'm sure a lot of you have seen New Girl. If you haven't seen New Girl though, I would definitely recommend it. It's so, so funny. I just, I just love it, that's all I can say. Hey, so for a movie favorite, I knew exactly what I was gonna say, because I finally got around to watching About Time this month, and <sighs> can we just take a moment to take in this movie and everything that it represents, because this movie changed my life. I'm not exaggerating. It is amazing. It is now my top, like, top three favorite movies of all time. It's just, it's so much more than the average chick flick, and I know it's about time travel, but it's, it's so much more than that, and I just love it, and I just cried my eyes out the first time I watched it, and the second time that I watched it. It's, it's amazing, and, um, Aline and I were so obsessed we had to buy it because this is the kind of movie that you just want to watch always. It just made me really appreciate the little things in life. I've been rambling on about this movie forever, but if you haven't seen it and you're not really that into romance movies, I would say that anybody would love this, honestly. It's not all about like, oh, finding love. It's just, it's so much more than that, and um, I, I'm just obsessed with this. For music favorites of the month, I've been obsessed with Eric Hutchinson. If you haven't heard his music, it's amazing. I really just love all of his songs. So if you like kind of like Gavin DeGraw, Brett Denon, kind of style, I would definitely recommend Eric Hutchinson because he is so good. I will um, link some songs below in the description box, so go check him out because he's incredible. And now on to food favorites. I've been loving this um, Wild Roots Coastal Berry Blend. It's 100% natural trail mix and it's really delicious. I've been eating this pretty much every day. It has cashews, almonds, cranberries, yogurt chips, and wild blueberries. And um, it's just, it's a really kind of weird combination with the yogurt chips, but it tastes amazing. It's just super, super good. It's really healthy. And I've just been really loving these, actually. They actually taste really, really good, too. So I've been obsessed with these this month. This is kind of weird. It's not really a food, but I have tried out Stevia this month because every, like, health enthusiast beauty guru has um, talked about Stevia. And let me tell you, if you have a sweet tooth, but you're trying to be healthy, but you would hate things that don't taste sweet, I really recommend you try out Stevia because it's zero calories and it's just 100% natural sweetener. It's not bad for you, it doesn't have any chemicals in it. It's just all natural with zero calories and it tastes sweet. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. I'm sure you can see a health trend here because as much as I love fast food and as much as I love cupcakes and pizza and all that stuff. I'm trying to be healthier because bikini season is approaching, crop top season is approaching, and also it just really makes me feel better when I'm eating healthier foods. So I tried out these Cliff Kid Organic Z-Bars, and I know that they are meant for children, but that's not gonna stop me from chowing down on these because, you know, I may be 19, but I'm still a child at heart and I still enjoy a good Z-Bar. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. They come with lots of different flavors. This one's chocolate chip. I really like the, the fudge brownie kind of flavor. That That's really good. And these aren't even that many calories. A lot of like um, energy bars are a lot of calories, but since these are made for children, they don't have that many calories. And I'm not like a huge calorie counter. It's just nice to be able to eat like a chocolatey snack without having to feel bad about it. And these are really good for you and they taste really good. So. I've just really been loving these. All right, you guys, that concludes my April favorites, and I really, really hope you like this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and comment down below some of your favorites of the month. Also, all my social media links are down below, and if you guys could follow me on Twitter, that would be really, really great, because I have like 50 followers, and 
I think that that's kind of sad. So if you guys could check out my Twitter, that would be awesome. And if you guys could check out my Instagram, that would be amazing. I also have a Pinterest, Tumblr. Have I mentioned all of them? I think so. So check all of those out. And I just really hope you like this video. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.